guys, it's your girl T. So I want to go ahead and shout out Helen Wambe. Helen and several people have been sending me stories about these cell phone gun cases. This whole situation is a mess. So what went down is about two months ago, um, this story hit the internet initially where what? they were selling these phone cases that look like guns. And I remember saying, like, you know what? Somebody's going to end up getting hurt or getting shot. Why any black person would even play around like this makes no sense to me whatsoever. But a lot of folks did not heed the warnings. A lot of folks started buying these, you know, cell phone shaped guns. They're all over social media. People are flossing them. People are taking sexy selfies with them. So now it's gotten to the point where the police have taken the social media, um, the New Jersey police that is, they've taken the social media to warn folks to stop buying these cell phone cases that are shaped like guns because God forbid somebody ends up dying over something that looked like a gun and that's not really I a want gun. you guys to go ahead and check out these news clips. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. What's fake? Jamal. Carol, officers must make a split-second decision to, to determine if there's a threat. These days, real guns look fake, and fake guns look real. Now add cell phone devices just like these to the mix. It's a concern for officers and the public. People love their cell phones, and they like to make them stand out, too. So what about this case? It prompted the I team to raise some questions. Yeah, the message here, I don't really approve of. I wouldn't buy that. For around 20 bucks a piece, you can easily purchase online a plastic hot pink or rubber black cell phone case shaped like a gun. This could be very alarming uh, for law enforcement. Brian Doro trains police recruits at Waukesha Community Technical College. I describe it as a significant concern. Especially when you consider what police are up against these days. In February, a Milwaukee police officer shot a man inside a house during a domestic dispute near 10th and Keefe. Take a look at what police say the man pointed at officers. It's a fake gun, an airsoft weapon. Doro believes even a trendy cell phone case can lead to trouble. Color has nothing to do with it. It's what it means in this position or this position or this position. Kim Garney carries something pink, but it's no cell phone case. And yes, it is pink, but and some people will question whether it's real, and I say yes, it is. She's a mother raising three young children in New Berlin, a mother who proudly carries. And I think it's my responsibility as a single mother to carry. In today's society, there's not a day that goes by you don't watch the news and see several violent crimes that are being committed. Kim is among a growing number of people purchasing color custom-made weapons. They often include bright, neon colors. Kim's weapon and others like it definitely stand out. My children have um, grown up around guns and they are um, informed that guns are not a toy, not anything to play with. Um, with that said, they're also not afraid of them. When you place the pink gun and pink case side by side, they share similarities. Kim insists her children would never be allowed to carry this iPhone case. Now, as you know, toy guns are required to have the orange tip. These cell phone cases are considered accessories and not a toy. So right now, there are currently no regulations wow. for devices like these. Scary. It and is. to be a police officer, how do you figure out all of these different things? That's just Another terrible. Another thing for them to look Very out difficult. for. difficult. Okay, thank you. Safety is why he's questioning a new trend in cell phone cases. To imply that you have the look of a gun in a cell phone case, I think is probably not the best idea. Just how realistic these gun grip cases look is what's alarming law enforcement. Our job is difficult as it is. When you add something like this into the equation, it's another thing that, that, that makes it even more difficult. Lieutenant Mike Pooley from Tempe Police says since the cases seem to be cool with teens, he hopes parents talk with their kids about the dangers of carrying one. They may want to bring it to school. I mean, that's a huge uh, no-no. I'm not like against owning a gun, but this creates confusions. If there are situations where it gets, things get agi agitated, something like that <laughs> is going to you know, create stories for you guys. <laughs> Even Garner, who obviously supports the right to carry, wouldn't want his son with a case that faked being armed. Misconceptions and could lead potentially to some problems and maybe some heartache. Right, so you guys just watched that story, and in my personal opinion, if you want to take your iPhone and make it a die phone, then your ass deserves to get shot. You know, it, it's police officers have a hard enough job as it is. They don't need to sit there and try and, you know, make a split second decision on if you're carrying an iPhone case or if you're carrying a real gun and you might shoot them and attack them. You know, why even play with fire? I even put yourself in that situation to where a police officer could think that you have a real gun in your hand. You know, I just don't find it funny, even though that there's different colors and things like that. Like like they said in that news report, now they're starting to make real guns be different colors as well. Now you have pink guns out here, you have green guns. So all guns are not
not necessarily black and silver. Folks need to start using common sense. To me, every fad on the internet is not a fad that's worth risking your life, and I personally would never carry a cell phone case that looks like a gun, nor would I allow my boys to have a cell phone case that looks like a gun. To me, it's not that serious. I think folks need to stop being attention whores and realize that they're putting themselves in great danger by carrying a phone case like this. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. How do you feel about folks getting cell phone cases that are shaped like guns? Do you feel like it's just all in good fun? Do folks need to stop taking things so seriously? Or do you feel like they're putting themselves at risk to be shot by having these type of phone cases? Go ahead and leave a comment. Let's get the discussion popping. All right, deuces. Hey YouTube, it's your girl Lovely T and you can show me some love by hitting that subscribe button, watching my previous videos, and following me on social media.